Weather and fall got off to a very early and a very wet start this morning. And yes. Yeah. We're, we're hearing Jeff Ray, not our last shot at rain this week. No, it's our, but it was our first full fall day, and it broke that streak of 90 degree days that were, went all the way to Sunday. Then suddenly today, temperatures were in the 70s. It felt unusual today because that's only the second time we've had a day with highs in the 70s uh, since last May. But we don't have any 90s in the forecast as we go forward in the week ahead. In fact, we might even have another day where it's only in the 70s. That's on Friday. We'll wait and see. We have to have some things line up as far as rain chances on Friday. More than that in a moment, but uh, lows tonight are going to be in the 60s, about where they should be this time of year. So your spice latte uh, forecast is, you know, a hint of fall, at least uh, the cooler day will lead to a cooler night. Tomorrow will be a little bit on the warmer side. It, it certainly was nice to get that rain. We've gone almost two weeks without measurable rain. So for school bus forecast, we are expecting temperatures to be in the 60s, but to have dry weather. There, there will be a little rain around North Texas. I'll show you that in a second, but it'll be south of the Metroplex. Now we'll have partly cloudy skies, the mostly sunny skies in the afternoon and temperatures will be in the upper 80s. It'll be slightly humid, so the feel like temperature might actually hit 90. That's still a big improvement over this time last week. Let's show you the forecast model because the first alert future cast shows a little bit of shower activity from Erath County all the way across Henderson County. So this is below I-20 is to the south and this is in the morning hours, just a few showers. This might even be going on and off across the afternoon, but it's a smaller chance than it is in the morning. The big chance of rain really is going to be overnight headed into Wednesday morning. I've stopped it at 215. You see rain and thunderstorms and some of these thunderstorms could have some pretty heavy rain with it. We're not expecting severe weather, but it's just like it was this morning. Uh, some lightning, some thunder might wake you up and you might have a wet commute on Wednesday morning with some thunderstorms around. The first alert weather team will be watching the radar, but here's the next three days. It'll definitely be the warmest tomorrow of the week ahead because Wednesday and Thursday we're been talking about temperatures in the low 80s will be refreshing and there's that 50% chance of rain tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. I got to talk about potential drops of cyclone nine because the, everything shows that this is going to be a hurricane. Remember, we were talking about this at the end of last week, that suddenly this was showing up. Right now it's in the Caribbean and trying to get organized, but we think it goes through the Straits of uh, Yucatan and then becomes a hurricane sometime Wednesday late. Now the forecast is for it to go somewhere in the panhandle of Florida with Category 2 winds, but almost a major hurricane, Category 3 hurricane. Uh, so that's going to happen Thursday night in Florida. So at the same time, this really strong trough is forming and it gives us this north wind. So we got some cooler weather, but that thing might pull in some hurricane rain. So we'll wait and see. We'll put a small chance of rain on Friday, Saturday, and then we'll enjoy some dry weather again.